Lulu is struggling with how to talk with their kids about racism. They are meeting with their counselor Jason by video conference. This is their third session. Each of Jason's responses are paraphrases of what Lulu has just said. The other day, my youngest son stopped at a corner store to pick up snacks for movie night with his friends. He was withdrawn when he got home and said he changed his mind about spending time with his friends. Later that night, he told me that the clerk seemed to go out of his way to follow him around the store. Not the other boys. He admitted he felt too ashamed to go hang out with his friends. He was singled out. Exactly. I've had conversations with other moms in my community. They say their kids experience the same thing. One of the other moms went to a walk-in clinic last week, and the nurse seemed hesitant to leave her alone in the reception area. Others are having similar experiences. Because it is a common experience, I shouldn't be surprised when it happens. But it still feels like a punch to the gut. Every time. And it is so much worse to see it happening to my kids. You feel it more deeply when it happens to them. They are still so innocent. I know I can't build a bubble around them, but I want them to be solid in their belief in their own worth. I was scared and sad when Anton didn't tell me right away. Afraid. You want to protect them. Yes. I know they need to understand how the world works. But it is so unfair that the color of their skin alone alters how people treat them. I just want to protect them from that reality for a little bit longer. Please, not yet. Please, not yet. 